NBC's reboot of its sci-fi drama, Quantum Leap, is probably the most deserving of a modern reimagining of a show from that time period. Even though the 1990s version is still very popular, many people are loving the reboot just a bit more. On that note, let's look at what the new Quantum Leap does better than the original series. We'll also look at some reasons why you should catch up on Quantum Leap. To start with, there's more character development. The new characters are played by a great cast that doesn't tried to fill the shoes of the original show's leads, Dr. Sam Beckett and Al Calavici. Even though Sam and Al are one of the most beloved TV duos, they did kind of seem like two-dimensional at the end of the day. On the other hand, the new characters are their own people with their own problems, choices, and risks to deal with. In the new version of Quantum Leap, Dr. Ben Song and Addison Augustine are the space-time mixing duo. Ben jumps into other people's bodies all over time, even in the future and Addison helps and supports him as both a hologram and Ben's fiance. It looks like most of the time, the power couple is out of sync. After all, Addison and her military skills were supposed to go into the quantum accelerator, not Ben. When Ben remembers that he's engaged to Addison and they start to talk again, there are some interesting moments that we've come to love in the new series. As Ben jumps, his openness and vulnerability make Addison fall more and more in love with him. Ben seems to forget quickly how serious and quiet he used to be, especially when it comes to his past. His Swiss cheese brain has another benefit, which is that he can't remember why he rogue leaped, and this reason may be the thing that saves or breaks up their relationship. Coming up, it focuses on branching out to more characters. What a lot of people appreciate is that this leap depends less on that core relationship. The original was mostly just about Bacala and Stockwell, but in this version, the team grows to include all genius grunts, led by Herb Magic Williams, a character from a beloved two-part episode of the original. Herbert is the team's all-around best boss and the father you always wanted in the present. He's also willing to do anything to protect the people and also his people. When the government wants to shut them down, it's Magic's life on the line, and he lays it down with the zeal of a saint. In episode 7, O oh Ye of Little Faith, we found out that a fan-favorite character, Jen Chow, is as close to Magic's own daughter as she can be without changing her birth certificate. Jen impresses with her quick wit, style, and good security knowledge. She often works with Ian Wright, who leads the team in loyalty and gift-worthy ad-libs in the best scenes. In the new Quantum Leap, the characters have the potential to be flawed and change. After the first eight episodes, nothing is predictable, and that goes for the story arcs as well. What's more, they're more into rule-breaking. Those who watched the first series and remember how quantum travel works will remember that lifespan leap only went to the past, to the waiting room. In the new series, none of these old rules can be taken for granted. In Salvation or Bust, Ben goes back to the late 1800s. There, he meets another leaper who tells him to stop following him. It makes sense that the episode that breaks the lifespan rule is also the one in which another leaper who could be bad shows up. When you look at the original show, they didn't go there until season 5. Back at the new project in the present, Ian and Jen explain that Ben isn't jumping deep into the past, but that his rogue code is planning a slingshot space-time travel path that will land Ben somewhere in the future. Not only that, but the other Leaper may also be using Ziggy and the project's own accelerator to jump through time and access the team's equipment from some point in the future. So, in this new version, all time and any time are both possible. Then comes the waiting room. In episode 7, we see Ben fighting a demon and a murderer at the same time. He looks in a mirror and has a conversation with the man whose body he has. Whether or not this is a new way to explain quantum entanglement theory, it's clear that the reflection has free will as he waits on the other side of the mirror and stands in the same room as Ben. Lastly, the show brings in changes to fit with the times. It seems like Ziggy is having a hard time on the new team, and she often breaks down. Addison's hand link to Ziggy is not as impressive as Al's gummy bear version. We see that Ian and Jen can't get rid of a bug in Ziggy, so Addison and Ben have to rely on their own instincts and more than once in eight episodes on paper maps. In the present, Ian can follow Ben's progress when Ziggy can't because of websites and the disappearance of the new story about the old outcome. So Ziggy's character in Quantum Leap seems just like any other person, but the new Ziggy is not as trustworthy as the old one. She has also changed. But then, when you think about it, why would you use AI to do something that a Google search and the internet can do? Ziggy may be more vulnerable now, but she's also flexible 
and willing to let others do things for her. At the end of the day, Quantum Leap is definitely bringing in modern day adjustments to the show, which have ended up giving it way more depth than the original series. And now, let's look at some of the reasons why you should catch up on Quantum Leap. First up, the lead has a lot of character to him. We know Scott Bakula can't be replaced, but Raymond Lee's Ben is still a good lead. He's a genius in science, has a perfect memory, speaks multiple languages, and is also a pretty regular guy, which makes him easy to root for. Ben's ability to understand other people right away is probably his best trait. It's also what lets him adapt so quickly to dangerous situations that have forced him to be an undercover cop, an astronaut, a boxer, a bounty hunter, an aging Wild West gunslinger, and the list just goes on. He's the same character, but the kind-hearted Ben, who's been making all those jumps, isn't quite the Dr. Ben song we met at the beginning of the first episode. That person went into the time travel machine before it was fully ready, and he didn't tell anyone, not even the person he's engaged to. Then, we see him losing his memory because of the jumps, so he struggles to explain. But the split in his personality shows that this guy has more than one side. Up next, Team Quantum Leap. Rarely did the 1990s show go back to Sam's own time. We've talked about the reboot branching out from just the adventures of the duo before, but other than that, the home team is a big part of the action in the new Quantum Leap. There are subplots about high-tech wizardry, keeping Ben's illegal leaping a secret from the government and military, and just being co-workers who care about each other. This is shown in scenes where Magic, Jen, and Ian work together to cheer up Addison, who misses Ben and is constantly worried about keeping him safe, but is also angry with him for obvious reasons. There are also bonding moments, like when Magic tells Ian his personal reason for restarting the Quantum Leap program, which is that he has a host for Sam while he was in Vietnam War, which is a nice nod to the original series. Finally, the setting and the format of the episodes is pretty cool. We'd like to think the Quantum Leap writer's room is dominated by a giant whiteboard with potential leaps written around it. These are then narrowed down to destinations that offer the right mix of drama, humor, and danger, as well as the chance to move Ben's emotional journey forward a bit. So far, the show has shown Ben helping the people of a rough and tumble Wild West town work together to defeat a common enemy, and in a Halloween exorcist homage. This is clearly a nod to classic Quantum Leap's fondness for working in horror themes from time to time because it showed skeptical science guy Ben looking into the world of demonic possession. We know that the new Quantum Leap is a lot different from the old show, but it's smart that the basic structure of Ben's leaps is the same as Sam. This basically means that to get to the next story and hopefully back home, he has to figure out who needs help and then figure out how to help them, all while a clock is ticking. Each episode ends with a quick look at what he'll be facing in the next one, and this gives us a mini cliffhanger every time. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the Quantum Leap reboot? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. See you in the next one.